Hello there, you bunch of scripted screams. Jim Sterling here with Daylight. That game that you've probably heard about because way more popular YouTube people uh, got their videos up of this ages ago. Uh, but I came into possession of a code. Uh, I actually had a code for a while, but the version I had was... Uh, distinctly unplayable, at least on my computer, but I have a stable version of it now. It's it's an early version of the code, uh, not in a release state as of yet, but we got the okay to do gameplay videos of it, so we're going to leap right in. If you've uh, not heard about it, then... Oh, hold on. Uh, huh. That's... unusual. Clicking new story and it's not, uh... not going through. So... Uh, huh. That's... That's difficult. Uh, none of this works. Would you believe it? The second I fucking stopped recording, it started working. Uh, so we're just right back into it. Was that John Noble? It sounds like the Doctor from Fringe. Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing visions of shadow people, doctors on site, keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures that push what we've come up with to date. Oh no. Well, that's a thing. Uh-oh, that's some screaming. Okay, frame rate is a bit off, but like I say... New Kipling Herald. Uh, Mid-Island Penitentiary has recently announced the name of its new head physician, Dr. Walter Mercer. Known as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research, the city of New Kipling has expressed its excitement in having such a talented and passionate recruit on board and ready to do battle for the health of its citizens. So that's something else that's happened. Um, yeah, actually the guy from Fringe is Dr. Walter. Dr. Walter Bishop, if I, uh, if memory serves. Anyway, as I said, you know, it's a bit rough because it, this is an early preview you version. It will tell you where to look. Yeah, if you get these glow sticks and stuff. Use glow sticks to serve, search deeper. Um, as I say, this version's been constantly updated. This is the beta version. Oh, you were scared as I am. Oh, I hope something doesn't happen that makes me scream really loudly for ages and ages and ages. Oh, well. Run was the uh, bit of advice there. ourselves down here. I guess this is the way through these doors here. Use the glow stick. Ah, okay. There we go. Scary green light. Funny desk. Funny desk. Concerning patient 13, patient age 10 months old has been readmitted by her foster parents due to ardent, frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. Oh no. Ah, oh, shit. Something happened, guys. I 
I do like the what I'm hearing about the whole Twitch thing. Okay. Where what if you that? play this game live on Twitch, people in the chat can fuck with the player by typing in commands that will make it scary. Oh, that's unusual. I'm sure it'll be alright. They weather in flames, Sarah. Use it to your advantage. They will not harm you if you do. Flames. Why am I in this creepy abandoned hospital? That I didn't work out. <laughs> no, well, we're here now, and aren't we? We're just gonna have to fucking deal with it. Yeah, the proliferation of YouTube and Twitch TV and stuff has certainly led to more horror games being made. Some may say cynically, as it does capitalise on the whole uh, screamy, screamy market that people enjoy, but. If it leads to us getting more horror games, I ain't too worried about that. Uh oh. I don't know if that ran out or whether that was gonna happen anyway. Okay. What do we have here? Adam, I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. It just stared at me, and it then disappeared when I shined my light on it. Billy says I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right down there. I'm putting in a transfer request. So, that's something to think about. Oh, someone having a bit of a run around. Terrifying. Well, that wasn't creepy. Oh no. The hospital bit of the hospital. The, uh phone, which I wasn't paying much attention to, builds itself a nice little map, which is nice. It's less inconvenient. Oh my god. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh dear. That was unfortunate. It's not still coming, is it? Should hope not. find this relatively intimidating, but that's fine. It's all good. This is of course made by Zombie Studios, who did before this Blacklight Retribution, and then Blacklight Tango Down. I hated Blacklight Tango Down. I remember the developers uh, were not too pleased with me when I reviewed that on Destructoid. Uh, was not too kind to it at all. Still stand by it. Loved Blacklight Retribution though. And Zombie liked me after that. Um, I gave that a good score. Because it was a really good game and still one of my leading examples of free to play done right. Okay, through here we go. Oh, hello. And here they are with their horror game, which uh, j j uh, the fellas over there promised me is scary. They're certainly nailing the atmosphere. So is there anything we do here? Let's have a look at our map. What have we got? And there are still places to explore. Just have a little run down. Okay, this way or that way. Put our best foot forward. 
I know there's somebody here. Turn around and fucking leave them. Well, I say that. I mean, I'm the one making the move. I could just turn around and fucking leave. And that would be the end of that. So, my fault at the end of the day. To find out, aren't we? Ah, oh dear. Is that the creepy room that we can see all the way from here? I don't know. You on the right way? Yeah. Okay, through here. I oh, know we already went there, didn't we? Mm. So there's. A door or something this way. There we go. I really like the idea of having the map up on the phone like that. The Silent Hills map, of course, was uh, worthy of all the praise it received. It was an excellent way of mapping a building out as you go. Um, very easy to, well, very easy to use. You just click a button, go onto the map. But where this game is winning is the fact the map's here constantly the whole time. In a way that makes sense. I mean, integrating the whole phone thing makes it rather believable and stuff. That's just a creepy symbol. I ain't going through there. We don't get the option. Oh, hello. Peely paint. Oh, I do love horror games. Nothing? Anything at all? No. Back out. Well, I guess we go down here, which makes sense. This is rather different looking. Really? Huh. Well, I guess not. Okay. Let's see what else is uh, on our to-do list then. We'll uh, dash back. That ain't happening. Did we go down here? Let me just double check. I know you're there. Yeah. Okay, there's still places to go though. Don't worry about that, son. We'll take this left. Oh, hello. Ah, ceiling fan. I know there's and somebody newt. here. Patient is physically healthy, but deteriorating mentally. He remains in his straight jacket under constant observation. Patient continually yells that the maze is never ending. Screams continue throughout all hours of day and night, ranging from low monotone chants to fevered high-pitched hours. Electroshock therapy has been scheduled for tomorrow morning. Of course it has. Oh god, it's so scary. The stuffed bear, whom the patient refers to as her beloved, has been placed in quarantine. Ugh. wonder what she gave it. The doctor recommends inc incineration as it has come in contact with the girl and might carry the disease. None of us have the heart to burn the stuffed animal, though. I guess Mrs. Goodman... Ms. Goodman isn't the only one in this place with a soft spot for such a poor, wretched little girl. Delightful. Anybody this is, there? Yep, this is new. Oh, dead end. Okay. 
Is there anything else I've not been paying attention to? Okay, well things are happening now. I should have just been holding glow sticks. My mistake. My mistake. What the hell? But we got a scary book to look at now. And a bear to look at. Oh, hello. Something's coming on. I don't think that is John Noble, by the way. I've heard the voice before, though. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I'm just talking bollocks. How unusual. Can it be? I see you. See what? What are we seeing? Uh, uh, whoa. Okay. That happened. Now I'm assuming this bear will get us through that doorway up yonder. Yeah, that's about the right way. Okay! Once more into the breach, dear friends. Once more. So, when in doubt, glow stick it up. That's the one thing we've learned. We got these. Uh, last night at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has been decided. The hospital has. I read properly, non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. So, obviously that's something we've got to look at. Please familiarise yourself with the power switch's location within the records room stacks. Okay. So, pulling the old breaker. That old uh, standby. All employees, we understand that it is difficult to make it outside on your 10 minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. We've got several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously and climbing over them to serve as lookout. Be advised this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated, you pricks. I want to scoot round and just see what's going on over there now. What is going on in here? Probably nothing. Yeah. Not a lot. But, uh, process of elimination is important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Music. <laughs> Screaming. Running. Oh, that's a thing. Let's have a bit of a read instead, though. Ms. Daniels' is suicide. Ms. Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Ms. Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. It's annoying, isn't it? Oh my god. More reading. Mid-Island Hospital was one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history. Yet few people know how important its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Brilliant. Hospital plus prison. The greatest combination. Kipling citizens accused crime. 16 year old girl allowed to live. Admits guilt. S. Condemned to hang. Evil. Aspida. Open to deal with uh, spread of disease. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Stop. Stop. 
creepy girl. Well, on nightly rounds, Nurse Moriarty noticed patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely lose both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this, recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. All ready, ready. Patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high strung and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Patrice, rather. Okay, so there's no going through there. It's like a maze. Yeah, it is like a fucking maze. Too much like a fucking maze. Okay. Hmm. Well then, this is the uh, the main room, is it? Yeah. Back in we go. There's gotta be a fucking way around here somewhere. Oh, well hold on. Okay, yes, glow sticks again, when in doubt. Is there anything glow sticks can't do? Breaker! Oh, she's having a bit of a scream again. See, she can't climb over these ones. Because of reasons. That's okay, we'll find a way through. Uh, not up there, we won't. I should have clocked that. No, oh, try not to be sick. Well, it's very wobbly, actually. Blah! Blah! Here we go. Blah! Blah! Okay, press the button, and through we go. Yoink! Saving content. I wonder why. Yeah. Well, that's 
not happening it seems. Uh, a little photograph. And your blood is thicker than water. Most people's is. It's nothing special. Oh, another photo. So we are locked in. Get off the books. Just run back. Maybe those photos were what we needed. For some reason. Oh, no, nope, there we go. It just needed me to be in a specific place. Anything fun in here? Doesn't look like it, does it? Oops. There we go. So we've got an up and a down. We'll go down first. Why not? Up and round. Oh. We can get ourselves some flares on it. Lip flares fend off the shadows. I'm guessing we'll need those flares to scare the shit out of some horrible monsters in a minute. Huh. Another one of these places. I guess uh, we need information first. And then we go back there. I'm going to whack another one of these on though. Just to be sure. I know there's somebody here. Yeah, you keep saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay, here we go, some things. Ah! I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't a person. It just stared at me and it then disappeared when I shined my light on it. Billy says I was seeing shadows, but I know what I saw. Something's not right down there. I'm putting in a transfer request. History of New Kipling. The village of New Kipling traces its roots to the mid 1600s. The rich fishing source, along with easy access to trade. Why did I suddenly find myself unable to read any of that? To trade routes drew early settlers to the village. Oh. Skull. Brain on it. Uh, lit cigar, it seems, which is interesting. Little bugs having a bit of a time for themselves. Having a laugh. More noises. God's sake. Right, there, look, look, step aside for you. Woo More insects. Just enjoying their lives. That shut itself. Doesn't look like anything interesting's going on. Yeah. What's that? Blood. Oh, hello. Are you gonna go away? Yeah. Coming after us? I guess it's coming after us. Huh. Wonder what that was all about. Seemed, uh. Alright, moody. Up here we go. Again, I'll, uh. Whack the old glow sticks on. 
so we can have a proper good old look around. The village of New Kippling traces right to the middle. Oh, we read all that. When in doubt, follow the sounds of buzzing flies around stuff. Okay, nada. Oh! Okay. History of New Kipling. I keep reading your history of New Bloody Kipling. I don't give a fuck about your history of New Bloody Kipling. Just some fellas having a bit of a chat. Uh, meh. Nothing much. Okay. I'm gonna run from that? Whoa, fuck! Hello! Let me go back here because this desk was, uh. Nothing. I mean, I know you're a sad ghost in an hospital, but shit will get off the pot, you know? the same set of stairs? Did we go all the way round? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, no, 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 there's another set of stairs there, so this must be new. We'll do some more glow sticks, though. I tell you that right now. Ooh, I wonder if this is the history of Kipling. Pick it up. Nope. Patient suffers from a hoarding problem, frequently hiding items she, uh, she can get her hands on. Patient has been observed clutching objects and mumbling to herself in nonsense phrases. Described by the staff as disturbing. Uh -huh. Aha. Quick look in here. Don't know if there's anything of use here. Is there anybody in there? Okay, what's this? Locked door. A sigil is here. Saw someone down in the boiler room tonight. Bastard made me need to jump out my skin. Ran off before I could get a good look at him, though. Nobody but me and Adam should be down there, so it better not be one of the orderlies scoping out a spot to put the moves on one of them nurses. Just make sure people are doing their job and not screwing around in my boiler room. So there's the sigil. The squidgy squidgy room was across the way. There's a thing over here. I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what it is, but then a person. Well, we read all that. Why is he re writing the same notes? Okay, we've read that one as well. When I die, I hope I get the ghost job of being the one that hangs around going <laughs> I, mean, I guess it might be fun to be the one of the ones that knocks stuff off shelves as well. I want to be one of the creepy whispery ghosts. 
Oh, hello. She's having a bit of a chase again. Oh, she's such a dick. Looks like a mattresses and stuff. I don't even want to think about whatever that was. what to do at the moment but uh, this has gone on seriously long enough I tell you Vegas is gonna keep crashing trying to process it going this long I don't know why I'm trying to get people to work out what's wrong with a fucking computer doing that all the time so I'm gonna save it here anyway and uh, try and make an entertaining video out of it and um, maybe we'll do some more maybe we won't either way I'm gonna be reviewing this on the escapist magazine so that'll be a thing anyway hope you enjoy the video let that phone get on with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye.